What if people froze before the Great Awakening? We will discuss and briefly introduce cryonics and frozen people perhaps that are able to be needed in the future every week. Is it possible to go to future biologically? The human race has longed for immortality from the very first moments of its existence. So what do you think is the main reason behind this desire for immortality? Of course, it should be seeing the future, right? In fact, aren't we so keen to build a time machine anyway? Here is an example that tells you this enthusiasm. I wish there was a scientific method possible by which we would freeze people and awaken them in the future. In this way, I could have accepted to see America 100 years ahead for a day and even die afterward. I would definitely prefer this to a normal death. I have no doubt that our science will achieve these in the future. These words were made in 1773 by President Benjamin Franklin by doctor it was written in a letter to Jacques Dubourg. Now let's examine cryonics, the most comprehensive project developed in this field. First of all, what is cryonics? Cryonics, Kappa Rho Omicron Sigma Krios, meaning cold in Greek, is the freezing and low temperature preservation of the human or animal body in the hope that modern medical technology will advance in the future. The way of application is as follows. Within minutes after death, the person is placed in freezing tubes before brain death occurs. These tubes are generally at a temperature of minus 196 degrees and do not allow the body to rot. All right, let's talk about the past of cryonics. Here is a brief history of cryonics. Firstly, the first frozen body was found in 1967 by Dr. It belonged to James Bedford. As of 2014, approximately 250 corpses had been frozen in the United States and 1,500 had arranged for their bodies to be frozen. The economic reality means that it is highly unlikely that any cryonics company will be able to continue operating long enough to take advantage of the alleged long-term benefits it offers. The first cryonic conservation attempts were made in the 1960s and early 1970s, which ended in failure with the bankruptcy of the companies, and hiding bodies were thawed and destroyed. Some important events. In 1955, James Lovelock was able to resuscitate frozen mice at zero Celsius using the microwave diathermy method. In 1987, Dr. Paul E. Siegel from Berkeley University has frozen his dog for 15 minutes. In 2015, Chinese children's literature writer Du Hong was kept frozen at the age of 61. Don't forget this, my friends, all bodies that have been frozen until now are waiting for medical technology to evolve to the point of saving itself. It is uncertain whether medical science will reach that stage yet. But in case you still want to freeze themselves, let's take a look at the studies and companies in this field. The Cryonics Institute in the USA is the first known center. Founded in 1977, Alcor has given importance to cryonics R&D activities. However, in the 1990s, as the idea that the method harms cells and tissues began to spread, a new medical procedure was determined with academicians. Freezing with glycerol, which was used in the 90s, was replaced by vitrification technology, which prevents the water in the cells from freezing. One Alcor Life Extension Foundation, United States, Arizona. Two American Cryonic Society, United States, California. Three Creo Rus, Russia, Moscow. Here, we strongly suggest to you one movie about cryonics and frozen people which is Black Mirror Season 2 Be Right Back section. Absolutely you should watch it as soon. We are looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comment section.